You see this meal right here and your first reaction is Oh my god, you're gonna get sick from the bacteria, parasites, from raw meat You're gonna get this deadly microbe that will kill you This 2 meter worm that will get inside of you, right? Wrong What if I told you that parasites and bacteria are actually making you healthy? That's kind of a big claim, right? But in this video I'm gonna prove to you that you've been lied about germs I'm gonna prove that to you with scientific evidence and also some anecdotal claims so you can see exactly how you're meant to eat as a human being to be healthy to look good feel good and live longer okay let's fucking go because here's the thing i've been studying nutrition for five years now i'm gonna also eat this later i'm gonna put it aside i'm gonna eat it after i explain to you so i've been studying nutrition for five years now and i tried all the diets so far and some time ago i came to this raw meat based diet i've been eating like this for nine months almost now and i found out that this is basically the best diet i feel the best and become the healthiest on this way of eating and people tell me all the time about bacteria parasites this is like the number one fear also that stops people from starting to eat this way so that's why i thought i should debunk it now before i debunk this to you, you gotta understand where this all came from when did people and why do people believe that bacteria and parasites are bad and they shouldn't eat raw meat and raw eggs and this all goes back to the 18s when the so-called germ theory was created by this guy Louis Pasteur that he has seen that microbes are causing the spoilage and the fermentation in the food and later on there's this guy Robert Koch that built up on this on this theory and he was concerned about people like getting contaminated from the water and also like the hospitals with the hygiene standards getting infections all this kind of stuff and he observed and he kind of associated like bacteria with these diseases and also did some experiments extracted like bacteria those bacteria that were present when you have this disease and put it into people and he has kind of proved that the bacteria cause disease not all bacteria like specific bacteria and this had nothing to do with raw foods at the beginning this germ theory was about the contaminated water the infections that's why it was like the motivation behind it and after that in the 19s when factory farming became a thing the industrial farming people started raising animals in factories for mass production people are like, were eating raw meat and they found out that they were getting sick from that raw meat like from the factories from the raw meat raw eggs and then the people scientists associated this with the bacteria they like studied and observed that they have these bacteria salmonella e coli and parasites when people get sick and they eat raw meat like from that and get sick they have these bacteria and parasites and then the government pushed cooking your food they said you should cook your meat your eggs because you're gonna get these deadly bacteria and parasites that will cause disease and even kill you but here's the catch it was actually not about bacteria and parasites it was about something else and we're gonna get back to this later but first we gotta understand the role of bacteria and parasites what is the role of bacteria because here's the thing bacteria for example any medical field will tell you the fact that bacteria help you detox they help you you know digest food that's the function that it helps you with basically it helps you clean yourself you know inside your body so even the medical industry admits that so and the, the, about the parasites though it's something a bit um, nuanced here because the medical mainstream belief is usually that parasites will come into your system they will manipulate you steal nutrients they will cause digestive issues and sometimes even like um, cause disease and kill the host that's what uh, the medical industry tells you but here is not really the case it's actually the fact that bacteria i mean uh, the parasites also help you detox and they make you healthier they feed on decaying tissue but we're gonna i'm gonna explain this to you later first let's uh, cover this bacteria thing so like i told you bacteria helps you detoxify so not many people know this but we actually have salmonella we have e coli we have staphylococcus aureus these bacteria that are basically causing food poisoning as the medical industry tells you these bacteria are basically these deadly bacteria that are actually inside our gut you can just check this out i'm gonna also send you the sources later and that's pretty interesting right and people even believe this nowadays the fact that bacteria cause the disease based on this uh, theory that just uh, went on and on and also some modern studies people were associating like bacteria with uh, diseases and parasites but there are mostly studies that are association that's the keyword here association not causation it isn't proven whatsoever it has just been associated with the disease so why is that we're gonna you're gonna find out later because here's also an interesting thing there are also some studies that show causation but those studies inject like the bacteria in very large amounts it's very unnatural like who would do that of course like uh, inject it in such amounts it causes like a severe imbalance so obviously that would uh, make you sick but in normal amounts that wouldn't happen that wouldn't occur in nature in the first place so i don't have anything else to say here about the bacteria if it is in your gut and also helps you detox that's everybody 
says that you know about bacteria but i will just back this up with an anecdotal evidence because here's the thing i also before you know before eating i mean not uh, b besides eating raw meat i also ate some raw rotten meat which is like raw fermented meat basically i just put it in the fridge you ferment it like for a few weeks so it catches more bacteria develops more bacteria and i ate that fermented meat just like you would ferment the milk you know and other stuff and i ate it and guess what what did I notice from, um, you know, the bacteria itself, I mean, from the raw fermented meat is the fact that I got some, uh, you know, detoxification symptoms, like a bit of dizziness after I ate it, like I ate even like 100 grams at, um, in one sitting and also I noticed some other detox symptoms, like a bit of nausea, but like for a few minutes, maximum one hour, it was nothing too bad either. And besides that, um, I felt very euphoric from eating that meat, like that was a very big plus, I really liked how I was feeling from it. And after 7 days of eating raw fermented meat, I've noticed that my eyes got brighter, I'm not even kidding, you can see like here the difference, for example, before and after, before I even started this uh, raw meat based diet, my eyes were this color, even though the lining is a bit different, so you can see that my eyes got brighter. What's the reason for this? Well, it's because toxins are getting stored in your iris. So what does bacteria do to you? It helps you detox. Hmm, interesting. So. The bacteria helped me detox, so I removed toxins from my ears and that's why my eyes got brighter. But I wanted to bring this up, very interesting, because it relates to this topic here. And now let's get back to parasites, because I told you that parasites are not actually stealing your nutrients and making you sick. They're actually trying to help you. They help you detox just like the bacteria and they feed on decaying tissue. Even some medical textbooks admit that parasites prefer rotting fats in your body or decomposing proteins like decaying tissue, basically toxic tissue. And they only appear like um, here and there, like not every time when they, you need the help basically. When you're toxic, when your body is toxic, they come in there like as helpers, you know, as janitors basically. But yeah, here's another thing, another fact that all the wild animals have parasites inside of them like naturally they have parasites you can see like all the animals in nature and even humans carry some parasites naturally in them that are harmless basically they don't do anything like they don't cause issues you can have parasites in you without having disease or like symptoms bad symptoms so medical industry tells you that yeah parasites are bad under any circumstance and yeah they will steal nutrients they will um, you know, cause a disease and even death to the host, but because there's this guy, Jonas, he ate raw meat like for decades, 30 years, and he has put thousands of people on this diet, like clients, patients of him, and he has seen exactly what happens when you are on a raw meat based diet. And he often tells us that parasites are actually good for you, that they help you detox. That's what they, what he told us. And we also have some studies that prove this because there are some clinical trials, for example, people doing experiments with animals or humans, giving them parasites, treating diseases like Crohn's disease or other autoimmune diseases. So yeah, what the fuck? Like, what is this? Like, I, I've just seen this. So again, pretty interesting. Like, why do parasites treat the Again, so pretty interesting, like why do parasites help you here? Why do they get you, make you become healthier, treat Crohn's? Hmm, so pretty interesting, again, parasites help you clean yourself and um, cure diseases. Yeah, like the digestive issue especially because they also help you digest food. You have these studies right here. As you can see, I'm gonna link them in the description too. So again, what Hajonu says here in his book, also he has like two books on this concept, like with the uh, raw meat based diet and also talks about parasites, bacteria. Guess he was right here, parasites actually help you. But now the question arises, yeah, if parasites and bacteria are good for you, then why do people still get bad symptoms like diarrhea and other, you know, symptoms like that? Because it happens, it really happens. And the answer here is the fact that bacteria and parasites will only be problematic if you have too many toxins inside your body, if your body is too toxic, because you'll have too much to detox. Obviously, bacteria will help you detox and parasites, so you will have more bad symptoms because that's what happens when you get detox you'll have bad, bad symptoms because you remove the poisons from your body, obviously. So that is that is the reason why. It'll only be a problem if you're too unhealthy. And another interesting story that I have related to this, it's like about a guy named Primal Clodo who's been eating raw meat for five years. He's like Romanian. I spoke with him quite a lot. And he also posts content about this primal diet, about this raw meat based diet. And he told me something very surprising. He literally took parasite eggs that he like uh, got some parasite eggs from Belgium. He bought them and he basically just took them, he ate them as a supplement for one year monthly and at the beginning, wait, I was hearing the fact that yeah, parasites are good for you, but I didn't really know the specific of it and then it's when, uh, that's when it clicked for me because he told me that those parasites actually helped him with the digestion because 
he couldn't get past 66 67 kgs at 1.80 centimeters he had like poor digestions because his body was very toxic before and he couldn't digest food very very good and then the parasites kicked in and helped him like he could gain weight very easily after that he got to like 80 kgs which is very very interesting so coming back to the, those studies and also what Arjona said that parasites help you detox and um, they help you digest food when you need it when you're too sick and toxic like from um, eating unhealthy years of eating unhealthy and proper and proper lifestyle it makes all sense now I didn't take a parasite egg so far but I'm gonna try it maybe in the future to see exactly uh, what's the deal with that so okay so now the question is yeah you don't get sick by bacteria and parasites so what exactly makes you sick from eating raw meat why were people getting sick then like when uh, they started eating raw meat in the 90s from the you know factory meat well it only comes down to one thing and it's not bacteria it's not parasites like I told you it's the poor quality meat because think about it why were people getting sick just after that and before they were eating like raw meat like uh, Germans were eating steak tartare, meat, I mean, uh, yeah, meat, steak tartare and also the Japanese people eating sushi, raw chicken. Basically some cultures were eating raw meat back then and even nowadays they still do, even in restaurants you have raw meat. When people started, you know, eating raw meat from the factories, from the animals that were mass produced, you know, mass uh, sold had from factories, then they started getting sick. And let's analyze a bit here. How are the animals treated there? Okay, they are fed crap first off because, you know, they buy just cheaper things, uh, cheaper foods to feed them so they can make profit. Yeah, besides that, they keep it, uh, they keep the animals in like a closed space. So they don't really have much space. They don't have sun. They don't have fresh air. They can move. So obviously the animals are stressed. They also vaccinate the animals, which vaccines, of course, they have poisons, other, you know, drugs. They uh, get inside like this gets inside their, their bloodstream. So obviously the animals are sick and unhealthy. If you eat the raw meat from sick and unhealthy animals and also the eggs or like animal products in general, of course that you'll get sick, of course that you'll absorb the toxins from that if you don't cook the, the meat and you know just uh, destroy some of the toxins, of course you will absorb them and you will get food poisoning, you will feel sick as a result of detoxification, you'll detox the poisons, that's it, that's why you get diarrhea and other stuff. Just for example, look, I've been eating raw meat for 9 months almost, I never got sick from eating raw meat from a good source, but I only ate supermarket meat once, it was like poor quality and guess what, that's the only time that I got sick when I ate raw meat from the supermarket i got food poisoning i was feeling like for two days not even that bad like i had some diarrhea a bit of fever didn't really have uh, much of an appetite like for a few days and then it got back to normal that's when i got food poisoning but other than that i never get it i just feel good i have energy i'm getting like healthier so yeah again this all proves it basically with the studies and also the people that eat raw meat regularly from a good source they never get sick do you see like other influencers or other primal influencers like me for example there are other guys uh, you can see them all over the internet they eat raw meat they don't get sick like they eat it for years long term they don't get this worms the deadly bacteria why not because they get their meat from a good source of course that's the reason why they also get healthier so the conclusion is that the association is there because Bacteria helps you detoxify, that's why they've been associating bacteria and parasites with the disease because it's present when you have the disease because it's, it comes there to help you, that's the whole reason basically and that was it debunked, you know, if you now you have at least a double digit IQ then you will come to this conclusion that yeah, parasites and bacteria are actually good for you. I also shown you that people don't get sick like by eating raw meat if they eat from a good source as people were eating it before, also other tribes, you know, nowadays the Inuit, the Maasai, they also eat raw meat, no problem, so this all goes to show that it's not about bacteria because raw meat and raw eggs even from a bad or good source they still have bacteria and have them inside your gut that is not the problem not the bacteria the poor quality meat and that's it so just find a good source where the animals are healthy they are fed good food they are not uh, stressed they are living optimally so you won't have anything to worry about you won't get deadly bacteria parasites nothing at all now let's eat now that we got convinced that bacteria and parasites are not the problem we can finally eat raw meat let's go watch me eat now this Beautiful meat meal uh, right here, steak tartare, like it's served at the restaurants, but homemade, this time nature made. We have some raw butter here too, gotta get that fat intake too. Yummy bro, so good. I also ate 500 grams before this, before recording the video. I'm still hungry, bro. Holy shit. Damn, this shit was so good. I just devoured it, I think, in under five minutes. Let me check. <laughs> 
Yeah, holy shit. I just speed run the shit off out of this mill. Oh, almost stripped too. Okay. And now you might say, yeah, dry wash, I understood. Bacteria parasites are not uh, bad. Okay, I finally understood this. But why should you even eat raw meat in the first place? Like, what's the point? Isn't it disgusting? What are the benefits? Well, if you want to find out, whoa, wait. <laughs> if you want to find out why I'm eating raw meat, what are the benefits? You can check out this video, you'll see 13 benefits that I've noticed on the raw meat based diet. In case you're curious what you'll get out of eating this way, because the benefits are surprising, you'll definitely want some of them here.